Hi, welcome to lesson two of our Joomla tutorials, adding hyperlinks. My name's John, I'm founder of Sway Search. We're a web design and optimization company based in Cambridge. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how you can add a hyperlink to some text on your website. I'll show you two types of link. One is an internal link that links some existing content on your website, and the other is an external link that links through to somebody else's website. First off, browse to your administrator, that would be your domain, forward slash administrator. Enter in your username, mine's already stored in the computer's memory. And add in your password. Now click the login button. This takes you through to your content management system. You need to browse up to the content menu and select article manager. This pulls up a list of all of the web pages on your website. Now, with our website, we've got it structured with sections and categories to make it easier to find content. Yours may or may not be structured in this way. So I'm going to select the category drop-down and select Web Design. And this is the page I would like to add the hyperlink to, Content Manage Website Design. So I've now gone through it into the editor for that article. Now, this is where I want to add the hyperlink into. Update the website whenever you need. So I've highlighted that text and now click the insert edit link. Now on this window it's the link browser and here you've got contacts, content, menu, web links and zoo. I want to connect up to a menu item so I'm going to expand the menu drop down. Now it's part of the main menu so I expand that and I want to link up to a page under our web design menu. And that's the page I want to link to, the content management system. So I've selected the content management system and that has put the URL in at the top there. So that's an internal page link. Now at the bottom here you've got attributes. A target is whether the web page opens in a new window or in the current window. As it's an internal link, I'm going to keep it opening in the current window. Now in the title box, you add in a title. This can be anything you like, but we would really recommend you use any keywords that you're looking to be found in the search engines for. It's a great little optimization tool. So we want to be found for web design. So I'm going to enter in web design hyphen, I'll call this the CMS, the content management system, and I'll click the insert button. Now with our website, we haven't set it up so it bolds links automatically. Yours may or may not be set up like this. So I'm going to highlight that and bold it, just to make it a bit easier for you to see. Now if I scroll up and click the apply button, that saves the change. Now I'm going to go back to the live website, and I'm going to click the reload button to refresh the page. Okay, once that's reloaded, you can see there, update your website whenever you need. So I click on that link, it takes me through to the content management system web page. So it's a nice and easy way to add in internal links to your website. Now the next part I'm going to show you is how to add a link to an external page. So back into the administrator. Now our article editor is still open because I only clicked apply so it doesn't close the window down. Now I'm going to highlight the link I added. I'm going to click the insert edit link. Now this time I'm going to click in that URL box and I'm going to remove all of that link. I'm going to type in my own link. So start off with HTTP colon and two forward slashes and now add in the website you want to link to. In this case I'm going to link it to the Google homepage, so google.com. Back into the attributes area. Now as this is an external web page I'm going to open this in a new window. The reason for that is that I want people to stay on my website. So if I click this window, it'll open a new window, they can go away and browse there, but my website will still be open. Now for the title, I'm going to change that a bit. So it's web design, and I'm just going to call it Google. So I've still got my keyword rich text in there, which Google will find when it indexes your website. It's all good. Click the update button. Now I'm going to apply that again. So that saved that article. I'm going to go back into our live website and I'm going to browse to the web design page where we've made the change. There's the new link. I click on that and you can see it opens up a new window. There's the old window. 
a new window with Google in it. Easy as that. Now we really recommend that you add in as many links as you can feasibly fit in because it all helps Google index your site. And this all helps your search engine rankings at the end of the day, so it's all good for your site. Well, that's it for this lesson. Um, I hope you'll join us in the third lesson. Thanks for listening.